Hey guys, this is <coughs> another casual talk through slash cast of a game of um, one view on ladder that I played earlier today, and it is going to be a TVT. Uh, my opponent is a midmasters Terran called Sunny. I'm Peacekeeper. I'm also midmasters, and I'm going to put in my point of view so we can uh, see everything from my end to kind of. Tr and I'll try to ex ex explain some of the decisions I make. Um, within the game to try and uh, help you guys understand it a bit better. And uh, it should be pretty cool. This game is pretty unique. Okay, cool. And uh, yeah, my, my supply put goes on at a standard time at 10 s supply. You get mon momentarily uh, supply capped after this SCV, but uh, the SCV Supply dep depot should literally finish like right now. Yeah, there we go. And uh, I send that same SV to build my barracks. Um, this is going to be a 12 barracks into 13 gas. I think this one I just want to take to try and uh, you know place a bit more of an aggressive expand style because um, with the gases expanses, as you run the risk of getting overrun by reapers in the early stages, where you just do a lot of damage to your expansion and your opponent. Get some econ advantage through that, and I really want to try and avoid that. I do take my gas on 13 right there. So this is what I've opted to do, and uh, I just put in three guys straight into the gas. This is more of a wings of liberty style. It, uh, it's a marine, hellion, medevac, elevator into the enemy's main, and it's pretty good against one racks expands because uh, they kind of lack the marine count to cover their all their bases as well as the front. Especially against the um, Hellions, if you micro them well and get some line shots off to on his marines, you should do pretty well. And if he pulls the SCVs, well, SCVs just really suck against Hellions, and so they get incinerated. But um, we'll see what happens. I do make produce three marines from the barracks before I do opt to get a reactor for it, just because I want to get a factory before I get that reactor on there, so I can get my Hellions to start as well. So I should have 50 gas in no time after this third marine comes out. I do want to make sure I don't get supply blocks, so I do want to start thinking about where to put my next supply depot. Looks like it is going to be here to try and spot any sort of weird reaper play that might pop up up in here. Because if, if he commits hard to reapers, I do need to start building some bunkers, some defensive bunkers, so I can spread my marines a little thinner, cover more ground. Because I'm going to be stuck at three marines for a little while. But a Hellion should pop out pretty soon as well behind this. Looking at the income, I haven't really cut anything at all. I am I was actually ahead in workers there for a second. I think my just SCV production is slightly faster than his. I should be up to 19 any time now. And the uh, Hellion should be coming out on the way. As well as a starport. <coughs> I do have that extra SCV um, lined up there to be produced straight after the last one. I do have 50 gas right now, I mean sorry, 50 energy. Mm -hmm. I do think I'm going to save this one up for a little while and then scan into the opponent's main to see what kind of tech he has gone because, you know, when you start getting into like 5.30, like 6 minutes, that's when the tech of your opponent is really going to be kind of apparent. They're going to have to reach their tech and start to do some tactical stuff with that and if he was going for Cloak Banshee, you really have to see that in advance and prepare for it adequately to hold that off. And so um, I am constantly producing Hellions. My second one is popping out. I am going to make a Medivac straight away because I want to get this pressure on and I want to get it uh, somewhere into this position and load up into here because uh, usually a lot of guys build their stuff here and then up here. So they usually don't have vision of this. So if I can get all my stuff up before he even spots it, um, that does give me a really nice positional advantage. And then looking at the units lost, that nothing has been lost this entire game so far. And uh, I am trying to catch up on some supply depot production. I did uh, accidentally skip one there for a second. And when I have enough marines to load up in one medevac fully, as well as three he hellions, I do move out onto the map. I do uh, rally my production facility, so I have my fourth hellion um, with me over here when that push starts. I do want to make a viking after this, as well as save up some minerals, maybe hold marine and hellion production for a command center. So I do have a full up behind this. I do spot this SCV here, I do get that, so I draw first blood, 
in this um, game right now, and the four Hellions here are a really nice number to take out big chunks of Marines, uh, as long as these Marines tank a bit. So I guess you can spread the damage over the Hellions as well as the Marines, because the Marines can be healed. That's a really nice thing for them. And behind this, add two more barracks. I do want to move into Marine Tank behind this, because uh, I feel like with the Ignite Afterburners on the Medivacs, I do believe like um, Bio Tank has the advantage because you can drop such critical positions, uh, taking out critical tech. And getting an advantage through that way. He does have a widow mine here. I do want to kind of avoid that, but I do think I walk into it accidentally right here. Yeah, right here. Boom. One marine goes down. One marine is critically hurt. I do lose most of my hellions right here, and uh, that's pretty bad for me. But the uh, medevac is is uh, letting me have a huge lead right here. I do try to take down this tech lab, which is most probably reaching stim, which it is, and uh, some of my stuff tries to go around the front, which is the wrong way actually. But uh, yeah, I've moved back my medevac to try and pull in some more units. Behind this, I'm macroing up. I'm going double tech lab to get uh, combat shields and stim behind this straight away. And my two Hellions have unloaded. Extra, extra marine is there. And he pulls the SCVs. It's a big mistake for him. He's going to lose a bunch of uh, SCVs right now. And I'm already ahead. Just because I've been producing better than him when I put him under this pressure. Medevac does die, so my units are stranded up here. I do go after some more. SCV kills. I've killed 19 this game. I do kill that little mine for free. And the uh, Sunny and laughs. Um, what a horrible, random, complete, unscouted all in. What is W2G? I don't know. Good luck in diamond at that. Um, well, you're wrong. I'm already in Masters, so. Um, you know, it's, most of the time it's just good to ignore that kind of stuff. I mean,. Even if I didn't scout him, that build is g still good. Like if if I go over there and he's doing some one base all in, or I scout and he's going coming banshees, I will play this defensively, and then take my time taking that expansion, but then have um, you know harass options into the mid game with that medevac popping out. I can do just a lonely hellion drop in the back of the main, or run run some hellions into the back of the natural to get some more worker kills. Right now my supply is actually double of his. Uh, I am ahead in by a bunch of workers right now. Getting my fourth gas. My third gas is just saturated. I should probably opt to get some upgrades now because uh, those have been delayed by quite a bit. Both combat shields and stim, as well as the medevacs out. I should have a more durable army than him, as well as more mobile because I did take out his stim. He can't really retreat from a fight. I, I'm the one who can. The second medevac popping out and uh, stim is yeah, about 40 seconds away, so I do move out onto the map to try and see if he, if he has anything out there that I can take out. Reactor coming down onto the starport to, you know, increases increases efficiency in producing stuff, and I do start with tank production, and that's really nice for me because if my opponent does opt to go for mech, which it doesn't look like he is, but like still, um, pure marine isn't gonna, really going to cut it at this level. Um, the positional advantages that siege tanks can provide you with just kind of outweigh the advantages of the marines which is it's really high dps and behind this i just try to macro as well as possible i'm not sure if i add two more barracks or if i add a third command center behind this um, my third command center is a bit late compared to some of the other games i've played but um i know I'm, i know i'm ahead still you know i'm ahead by over 10 workers yet again and uh, i'm pushing out because i saw that he took this third command center over here and he has two tanks so he might be feeling a bit cocky about how good his army is right now trying to cut some corners maybe to rely on his tech units to defend this third command center is, which is pretty a big investment I move in here and I realized it's kind of a mistake these two bunkers and as he moved the tanks forward he did take out mine quite early on a lot of my marines do die there he evens up the resources lost by a tiny bit but I do have these uh, two medevacs, and he's like, please don't lose this, because, uh, yeah, it, w it would be pretty sad for me if I did lose this, just because I got that really nice early advantage. I do get this double drop in here, though, against this singular drop, which was moving out, and then got cancelled, because he had to land over here and defend this. Um, a bunch of marines do survive now. I I'm getting quite cost-efficient with these, because the double medevac over here is really nice for healing against a smaller number of marines. Another medevac full of uh, stuff is coming in here, but I do believe I lose this. Uh, it's a big blunder by me. I, I didn't uh, activate Ignite Afterburns fast enough, and it looks like I try to get out of here. But I, get, 
a really unfortunate thing happens again. I do not get the uh, ability to activate in time, and he's actually uh, managed to climb ahead. And uh, being more cost efficient here, I, I have lost more resources than him right now. I've added two more barracks to kind of keep up with the infrastructure as well as income because I do have double tech lab and I don't necessarily want to be building too many marauders against his uh, marine heavy playstyle so I'm adding two more reactors and once those finish I should be on full uh, production capacities and my plus one is just about finished his is actually ahead uh, one one is about to finish for him I haven't even started plus one armor yet and I'm oversaturated on two base right now but I'm going to be for a while because my third command center is just being put down at the 15 minute mark. Um, this money should come down though as my upgrades should start to get rolling. I should, I'm adding a bunch more production. I have six barracks now. Um, a factory constantly, constantly producing factories. No, sorry, uh, tanks. Oh, well, I'm actually moving up to seven barracks, yeah, with some uh, medevac production as well. Medevac production is pretty good. These ones are pretty high on energy, and uh, it looks like he is attacking into my stuff. He has to got all my medevacs, which is a really nice pick off for him. But I do get end up getting these tanks and the advantage of this watchtower, so I should be able to take down these two tanks in the bottom here. But I need to be careful because I know he has a lot of units in his um, star. I mean medevacs. I do kind of maneuver around to try and see if I can t pick up the tanks at the same time, not losing mine. But uh, yeah, it does look like I preserve all of them, but two of them are really low in health right now, and this tank does get a lot of kills off onto these marines now, because you know they're all just so low on health, and one tank does get taken down by that tank. Nice little focus fire there from him. And uh, I am still ahead in supply, my worker count is uh, just pretty damn good for a f three base Terran right now. I can move like a third of these over here, a bit of these over here, and add a fourth command center pretty soon. And as long as I expand, I should be in a sick position in this game. Um, I do need to ad start adding more production to an extra factory wouldn't hurt. Um, maybe starting some vehicle upgrades, as well as at least three more barracks, just because my production is going to be pretty damn good if I add that right now. Eunice lost is pretty even. He has lost a tiny bit more than me. I am repairing these tanks with mules. I like doing this. Just a preference thing. I just prefer to have you know the strongest army possible when I do meet him in a battle. And two medevacs do um, come on over here. And they do pretty good. And my opponent is going to hit a pretty sick upgrade timing where it is two two and plus one vehicle weapons. He's going to complete all at the same time. I only have plus two attacks coming out in the way, but I do see this pocket of units, and I'm like, okay, cool. I have a bigger army than you right here. I'm going to take out most of your tanks. I'm going to load up a bunch of units right here, because I know some of those units should be here to try and defend. And then I'm going to drop in your main with a lot of units and move in with the siege tanks into the front so I can do some, I can cut your existing army off from the reinforcements, picking them off as they pop out, and then move into the front with the heavy hitting tanks and other units. Um, natural expansion is under grave danger right now. It doesn't even have a third established at this point. Uh, I siege up some of my tanks to try and take out more of the SVs. Uh, a double drop has landed into my main, which is a big problem for me because I have the units here to defend this. I just haven't reacted in time, and the command center there does go down, which is a bit of a waste because uh, honestly, I could have listed up over here or over here to take a fourth. The fourth is kind of awkward to defend in this map just because of how far up it is. It's kind of like Ohana, but the fourth and fifth base are just slightly further so it's like harder to defend overall and this viking is getting quite a few kills three kills now uh three kills on medevacs probably each time which does uh, decrease his medevac count and that's a lot of gas lost for him the two medevacs over here do escape um plus one attacks is coming out for me i mean plus two attacks Upgrade. not upgrades he's on i didn't i forgot to check but uh, these tanks got a lot of kills, 10 and 11, so 20 kills in between them. My 2-1 is finished. I'm adding my command center back up here so I can maybe mine some more gas or just straight up float it over here. I know I should be pretty good right now. Um, I am slightly oversaturated if I do pull all those SVs back, so I am I do have them with my army to try and repair as much as possible, you know, keep my medevacs alive, which is really nice to have those extra medevacs right now. I do take out that droppy thing. And the rest of my army is moving up onto the natural base of my opponent to try and deliver this finishing blow. I am 100 supply ahead right now. 
and this is pretty good for me. Um, I, s I am kind of on two base saturation right now, so my production is good enough, and uh, having a planetary right now there is pretty nice for me. A lot of stuff is moving over here. Oh, so he did secure this base, but I'm, I'm gonna do a pincer attack, one from the top, one from, from the bottom. Everything's uh, moving in, sieging up. Um, yeah, and that's all he has left right now. He has nothing to try and defend this. Um, he kind of insults me for a while uh, before he realizes I'm not going to respond and glorify his comments with a response. So um, I just stim in here and finish this off. Oh, he cancelled his CC. Wow. Yeah, and he's complaining about, complaining about the metagame of TUT. He thinks it's coin flippy. It's really not. Uh, letting shitty low MR returns. Good luck in Diamond um, and Masters, so yeah, that point's kind of illogical, but whatever. It was a pretty sick game. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, yeah, so if you're having any trouble in TVT, you know, don't be afraid to kind of dabble into the older school um, builds that we used to have in Wings of Liberty, because those are still effective, um, still really nice to use against a slightly greedy Terran over that hasn't if kind of reached like maximum efficiency in his builds. So yeah, it really kind of takes that to your advantage. So I hope to see you guys next time.